with Daddy. Sometimes I guess I get a little bit overprotective of my daughter. Um, she's only five years old, and I just just wish that I don't know that, that we could preserve the time that um, we have with her right now, forever. Growing up is such a <laughs> sometimes it fills a dad with dread. So shoot one, and the word will get around. <laughs> I'm not shooting anybody, but um, I just thought it would be quite funny for Father's Day. So we've got a bit of a bonkers raid for you today. Um, hogs, goblins and healers. I've searched YouTube and I haven't seen anybody try that before. So come, join me. Let's go and have some fun. So here we go. Uh, we've got eight hog riders. 116 goblins and we've got four healers. So the idea, the strategy here is we're going to use the hog riders to take out the air defense if we can. Or at least some of the air defense. So we're looking for bases that have air defense that are you know, relatively close to the side. The worry is, of course, if you use healers, then air defenses just crush. Crush them really quick, no matter what level they are. And then the healers are going to heal the goblins. <laughs> the problem is, in all of this big master plan, is that, of course, goblins go a lot faster than the healers do. So I'm looking for a bunch to get our resources. I mean, this may just be a, a, a raid of mines, and, and uh, well, I don't know. Well, we're not putting anything to destroy walls. <laughs> uh, but what I have got, though, is I have got my secret weapon, which are two jump spells and two rage spells. Now, clearly, we're not going to make a profit in this. This is just a fun raid. So I have no problem whatsoever in using jump and heal. Uh, jump and uh, rage. Right, let's just have a look. See. Uh, I just wanted to show you, we actually had quite a, yeah, no, quite a clever, I mean, he got, uh, on defence, on the whole, he got 995 uh, um, Dark Enix, so I, just, I thought I'd share that one with you, because, you know, it's sort of a, so the first thing, of course, is he doesn't throw them all in at once, which was a good thing. My fire hoses of death are still producing their, their, uh, their, their damage there. I think just about now he pops a heal spell in. Might be a little bit later. There we go, there's the heal spell. Sorry, the uh, rage spell, what am I talking about? So he's really trying to take out that, um, that fire hose of death. Not too much success. There we go, I think he gets it there. I'm actually winning, I'm actually rooting for him. <laughs> of course he's thrown in uh, wall breakers. Uh, at this point, he decides to throw in the goblins, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So the goblins go in. So, that's not such a bad idea. If you're really hunting for Dark Elixir, it's probably a, it's probably a cleverer way to do it than just lightning. And it's certainly got more class as well. Very proud to see that he's spawned a, a British flag in the middle. Eh? not saying that he's from Britain, but, you know, it could be, you never know. I can see his frustration there because he's trying to get a dark elixir. Sometimes the goblins get diverted to the, the regular elixir, which is a bit pointless. What could have really helped there would have been a hill spell, I believe. So anyway, look, it, it continues continues along those veins. It's not particularly particularly interesting, but I just thought the his strategy was was valid. So uh, whoever you are, let's have a look. You give him a shout out. I think he deserves it. Greg from Libation Arms. So let me see what he's like. I think he did a good job, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's, uh, I guess he's a little bit premature, Town Hall 10. So, uh, we have a. <laughs> is that one of these, these raids that you kind of, you just don't want to get to because it's like, this could be a terrible, 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 terrible ex exercise. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna queue up the troops so that uh, you know I'll have something to come back to. Normal farming army, really. Uh, so yeah, I was. This is the first year in ten that I haven't been down to Le Mans. The uh, Mont Quatre de Mont um, race is. I don't know if you guys have followed motor racing or not, but it's the greatest race in the world. It was, I think, 1926. It was the Ridge. It's known as the Ridge Whitworth, Ridge Whitworth Cup. But it was at a time when uh, British, you couldn't race on British roads. Oops. It was illegal to race on British roads. So the real pioneers of motorsport went overseas. So they went to Italy and they 
you know, the, the meal milia was, was started, and that was a really dangerous road that was uh, raced. That was a thousand miles around uh, Italy. And lots of people died. Uh, but you really just could there was nowhere to race. Uh, there were no race tracks in Britain. Uh, the first one, of course, was Brooklands. But that was when that was built. It was built. The builders actually um, ripped off the, the guy who owned it. So the, the 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 concrete is really really thin, and it really wasn't suitable in the end. But no. So the uh, and Bentley uh, and some French guys basically started this Rudge Whitworth Club in. Um, in uh, in France, and it was just a beautiful track. You know, it was just gorgeous countryside, French countryside, lovely long straight, and um, uh, yeah, it was just just absolutely a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, race. So we've got okay, this will do. So we've got the all of the air defences outside, which is good. So I'm going to cheat a little bit, take that one with that. Right. So these are base level hogs. So ah, there's too many. Damn, it's a shame. I hope that actually if not. I'm going to take that out with my clan castle, which is my secret weapon. Okay, so have we got the air defences now? We have. All the air defences are gone. Right, so where's the gold? The gold is here. Okay, right. This is definitely going to be one that is going to be of some, some interest to the person replaying it. You can do it. This is going to be really, really quick. Have we actually? Ugh. Oh, the, the problem is they're so flipping slow. Ah, we was this a case of them all being in the collectors? Oh well, look, hey, we've got one hundred and five thousand lakes here. Yeah? Yay! Um. So, is that a normal farming army? No. Was it fun? Hell yeah. <laughs> Was it a total waste of resources? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, all, all for the point of view of entertainment. So, should we just have a quick look, look back at the, uh, the replay? I, I was just wondering, it all went so quickly that I'm a little bit unsure. So, first of all, we took out, yeah, so we took out the, uh, the air defences. We've got that, and I understand that. Okay. So the air defences... Oh, no, took, took out those air defences there. Right, that's that. Then I, what I thought was... I tried to stay away... From, well, I tried to go for these two big storages here. Um, I guess what I probably should have done would be check the uh, check to see whether it's a collector base. So I laid down the uh, healers and tried to jump the. Uh, it was a collector base, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, so goblins went over with jump and then uh, demolished those bases. So I accomplished that. Did I get the dark elixir? I have to check in a second. Yeah, then over the goblins went onto an upgrading, uh, two upgrading ones, which was a bit of a waste. Got some dark elixir, but the healers were taken by the, the wizard towers. Okay, that was basically it. So I think I could have probably taken that one better, and taken that one better. Oh well, hey, not to worry. All for a bit of fun. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts, comments. It was a bit of a bonkers raid though, wasn't it? I mean, you know, that's, that's just funny. 240 dark elixir, that doesn't matter.
Did I use a balloon? Oh, it must have been from the... Uh, the I don't believe I used a balloon, did I? How strange is that? I wonder if that came out of the... Uh... Oh, well, maybe that came out of the... Um, uh, the fan castle. Well, I hope you enjoyed that anyway. Um, all for a bit of novelty, really. I'll probably get back to normal farming stuff next time. Take care, have a wonderful Sunday, and uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Well, bye for now. Yeah.